This is Q Racing News, brought to you by the Bank of America Racing Challenge. Next week, Wednesday, January 16th, AQHA and Heritage Place in Oklahoma City host the 2012 AQHA Racing Champions Awards. The champions are chosen by a 21-member committee that met in Dallas this week to review the races and cast their ballots. If you'll be in the area, admission is free, but auditorium space is limited. If you can't make it to OKC in person, you'll be able to watch the Champions Awards live at aqharacing.com or at qracingvideo.com. The ceremony starts at 6 p.m. Central. We'll also announce the 2012 champion breeder, owner, trainer, and jockey. And of course, be sure to tune in to next week's Q Racing News, where we'll recap the awards from Oklahoma City. The Texas Racing Commission has modified its list of medication allowances. The changes come a few months after the Association of Racing Commissioners International Task Force on Medication Science released its recommended changes. Only some of the recommendations were adopted, but here are the new tolerances. Any drug not on this list is prohibited at any level, and the revisions are effective immediately. Any pending drug positives for medications on this list will be re-evaluated in light of the changes. We're sad to report Robert Gentry passed away this week. Gentry was born and raised near Lubbock, Texas, and along with his brother Bruce, raised cattle, crops, and horses. The Gentry brothers were part of the group that bought the Haymaker Cell Company in Oklahoma City and eventually renamed it Heritage Place. Bob was an AQHA director and served on the racing committee. He's one of the sport's all-time leading breeders. The Gentry brothers' horses earned more than five and a half million dollars. Robert Gentry was 81. Los Alamitos Racecourse hosted the first major stakes race of the new year this week. The $100,000 Grade Two Charger Bar Handicap for mares four years old and older. Trace of Linda would break well from the forehole and finish strong to stop the clock at 19.770 seconds at 400 yards. Rodrigo, Rodrigo Acevas was riding for trainer Scott Willoughby. Trace of Linda is owned and bred by Christian and Ruana Singletary and Jolene Hells. It would be her fifth win in 11 starts, and her $50,000 share of the purse raises her lifetime earnings to $142,000. Champion Prospect to the Top has earned the title of AQHA Supreme Racehorse. The honor goes to any horse who earns $500,000, wins two open grade one races, and at least 10 races overall. The four-year-old stallion by Coronas Prospect, out of the easily smashed mare, Cream to the Top, qualified by winning the grade one championship at Sunland Park on December 30th. Prospect to the Top is just the 31st horse to earn the title since it was established a decade ago. He's a 2012 champion nominee in the category of Age Stallion. Speaking of Age Stallions, we hope to have Matt Darby back in front of the camera next week as we bring you a special 2012 Champions Edition of Q Racing News from Heritage Place in Oklahoma City. Tom Dawson will host and Remington Park's Dell Day will be there too. We hope you can attend in person or watch online. Well, that's this week's newscast. I'm Billy Lofton and we'll see you next time. This is Q Racing News, brought to you by the Bank of America Racing Challenge.